What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and I'm super excited because I believe that we are going to have a crack at an absolute giant today. So basically, we're going to be bed fishing. We're going to be looking at them today. We are on a super, super clear lake. This is a 9-9 restricted lake, so we're out here on the John boat once again. We've been doing a ton of John boat fishing and I have been loving it. It has taken me back to when I was younger. So much fun fishing out of this boat. And the good thing about it is you can go places that you cannot take a big bass boat. So I've been pulling the Alumacraft all over the place. But like I said, I believe we're gonna find some big bass on the bed. Gonna be flipping that new mock crawl at them, probably in that mud candy and that green pumpkin, gold and purple flake absolute catchers so we're going to work our way into this pocket we're going to be flipping along but we're going to be looking as well so when we see a bed we're going to go up on it and take a peek it is a little bit cloudy so not the best bed fishing you know conditions but hey we're going to put our head down we're going to look we got the old glasses on and we're going to see if we can catch a big one today so let's go ahead drop this trolling motor work our way into this first pocket let's see if we can catch a bag all righty y'all so I'm gonna be flipping the mock crawl in the mud candy color today. And man, that is an absolute catcher. I'm telling y'all, they are available at Tackle Warehouse exclusively. I got a link in the description down below to these. Be sure you get some. I'm telling you, after this video, I know you're gonna be going and buying some because these things catch them up. But three and a half inch mock crawl, mud candy color. And I'm flipping that on a 3 8 ounce, one objective tungsten, 20 pound test P line. Uh, this is fluorocarbon. And I'm going to put a little spritz of chartreuse on the feet. I like putting a little bit of chartreuse on the feet, especially when I'm bed fishing, but also when it's a little bit cloudy. I like it. So we're going to leave that up here. And we're going to work our way up along the bank and in. To this pocket i'm going to be flipping along as we go but i'm also going to be looking for beds hopefully we find you know a big one or multiple big ones on the bed today that would be absolutely awesome so we're going to work our way into here and like i said we're going to see if we can catch a daggum big and i believe we're definitely going to see one and probably going to have a chance at one so we got about six hours to fish water temps are 67 degrees and the only downside to today at all is the fact that it is cloudy but the sun is supposed to peak out a little bit you know in the next couple hours so hey i'm pretty sure we can make it work but we're going to pitch up there and we're going to see if we can get a daggone big and pretty sure there's going to be a fish somewhere up on this point actually bedding we'll see if we can we can find one that might be a bed right there as a matter of fact so when i see one i'm gonna kind of just be blind flipping up to it and you know a lot of times these fish would just come right off the bed and bite it if they have not been you know looked at or you went up on them and spooked them a lot of times they'll be pretty fresh and they'll they'll jump on it pretty quick Oh, there's one on the bed right there. Not a big one. But I most definitely seen it. Synced it. I synced it. Let's see if it circles back on. Not a big one, so not gonna spend a ton of time looking at it. Yeah, matter of fact, it, it went off pretty oh there it is. Well, we'll see if we can catch it real quick. Pretty aggressive, looks like. There's that sun. It makes it a little bit easier. Ooh. Oh, she had it. Yeah, that is so fun, so cool. On that, oh, get up on there. 
Oh yeah, that's a doggone chunk right there. Three plus pounder. Boom. <laughs> oh, that mock crawl right there. Oh, that mock crawl. Chunk, pretty, pretty fish already. What a beauty. What a beauty. Look at that tail. Look at the tail where it's worn down. What a nice, nice fish. Um, thinking, I know that fish is over three. We'll weigh it real quick. Just, we'll keep up with our best, uh, best five just to, just to do it. Get the scale out. So fish number one is going to be 3.1, Heck yeah. I honestly didn't realize that fish was that good of a fish, but we're going to go ahead and let it go. And that fish will be right back on the bed right here in a second. I drifted back just a little bit. I am gonna check this. I'm gonna check this bed right here. That fish got aggressive. It took a little bit to get that fish aggressive, but once it did, it was it was game on. It was game on. So awesome. All right. Fish number one. And hey, that didn't take long. Yeah, that fish was honestly a little bit bigger than what I thought it was. I thought it was like a two pounder. But then when it kind of came back up and set up on the bed, I was like, yeah, maybe that, maybe that fish is a little teeny bit bigger than what I'm, what I'm thinking. Nice fish. So we're gonna work our way back into this pocket right here and see if we can find a big one. I see some beds over there that look pretty good. Here's a bed right here and that's got a nice fish on it. Yep, that's got a nice fish on it. And that fish ain't going nowhere either. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Took, took one of my legs off. We're gonna try to do it now with with one leg. She is she is ready. Got her in. Nice, nice fish. Not as big as the last one, but a pretty decent one. Get in here. Oh yeah. Two something. Two something in the mouth. Thank you, girl. We'll weigh it just to just to check it. I swear, when you get them so fired up like that, you can just about pitch anything in there to them, and they'll bite it. So our first fish was three one nine. Second fish is gonna be. 229. Put that fish in spot number two. Thank you, girl. She's a beauty. Here we go. She'll be right back on her bed in no time. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Mock crawl just a different color. Went to a, switched over to the old. Oh, that's a nice one, yeah. 
Switched over to the green pumpkin gold and purple flake on that one right there. Dang, pretty old chunk right there. Look at that beauty. All right, so spot number three. Let's see what we got. My scale will do right. Spot number three, I believe this is a three pounder. Yep, three, 328. Spot number three. Hey, I will take that. Look at that beauty. We're gonna get her back in so she can get back on her, on her bed. Thank you. Oh, she's, oh, I thought she was gonna jump for us, but she didn't. That fish was fired up. That's how you want them to be right there. That was fun. That was fun. Tell you what, <laughs> we haven't fished very far and we've, uh, we've come across some pretty nice fish on the bed already. Still haven't found a giant, which we haven't been, I mean, literally hardly anywhere. I'm going to have to take off my hoodie here soon because it's getting a little bit warm, but that sun's starting to poke out, which is amazing. And we're going to work along this bank right here, see if we see any more. Hopefully find a big one on the bed and then we're going to go to some more spots. Look at it. There he is. Got him. Gave him the old shaky shake. There we go. I mean, a daggone chunker. Chill out, buddy. Trying to keep my eyes open for that, for that female. This one here wants to be a, wants to be a wild one. Got him right in the roof of the mouth. Golly, I mean, two pounder all day. Keep my eyes on that bed. Cause I don't know how big that fish was that was in front. Make sure I did have this camera rolling. I did, but looked to be a pretty nice one. Two, one, three, oh, two, one, three. Lock, there we go. Position number four, here we go. Thank you, buddy. Nice one. All right. The old mock crawl doing the dirty work. They're the ones that I, <laughs> They're the ones that I like. I mean, as soon as I pitched up there, Oh no, that was a nice one too. Dang it. As soon as I pitched up there to that light spot, that fish just ate it. Dang. That was a nice fish too. I mean, that was a three plus pounder. Had him like kind of crossed up in the mouth, kind of weird. I saw him shoot across the bed. I was like, well, that fish is going to eat it. <laughs> Sweet. Didn't get him, but that was a fun bite. Oh yeah, there's a couple. Nice bass. It looks like they're actively spawning though. They're basically bumping into each other. There you go, she pulled back up on the bed. That's a nice fish. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is a catchable fish. I mean, that fish just snapped at this thing like crazy. That was a bad flip on my part. But I think this is a very catchable fish. It's a pretty nice one, too. Ooh. She nipped at it. Where's her head at right there?
get in here. Dead gone good one right there. Not a giant, but ooh, hold on now. Let me get my hand in you. Right there, pegged him. Oh, she got one eye. That is a thick old chunky one right there. I mean, thick old chunky one. That fish was ready. That fish was ready. So this is gonna go in spot number five. So we got number five, y'all. Heck yeah. Hmm, not quite as big as I thought. 264. Thought that was a little bit better one, but hey. I'll take that. Oh yeah, did the old jumpy jump. I got something going on with my my uh, depth finder. It's being a little little wacky. That was a nice fish. Nice fish. I don't really need it. I just kind of keep it on because of because of uh, just a water temp kind of to see it, but heck yeah. Dang my craw. They can't stand it. They can't stand it. I got that silver weight on there too. I like to use the silver weight in the summertime, but I like to use it on the bed as well. I think it just kind of puts a little bit of shine up there and get some fish that wouldn't normally bite to bite. It's just a confidence thing. I don't see one up there on that one. get up in here i don't think that's a cull pretty sure that it's not it was just a just a fun one i mean that's a two something i think a 216 is our smallest i think Two one three is our smallest we'll check it i don't think it i don't think it's bigger than that though It is 213. It's literally exactly the same. <laughs> so, thank you there, bud. 213. Fun fish. Another one for the old mock crawl. Don't think that was the fish that I saw when, when I was leaving, but no, I won't. This was where I saw, I believe. A bigger fish I believe it was right here next spot next spot Next spot, hopefully we can find a darn big one here locked on because that last pocket we went to, they were, they were being funny. They were being real funny. So either we can just get a big one to straight up bite or either we can find a big one locked on. One or the other. We're just gonna flip through this shade right here real quick. Just flip up still have not gotten a single bite just flipping just have not gotten a bite you know they get tough when the majority of the fish get up on beds and all they can get super tough and that's kind of what's what's going on right now I think but definitely not getting just a straight up flipping bite 
Not happening. Not for me. Oh, that's how I need that big one to act. Just like that. He took one of my little feet off. See if he'll bite it again. Yep, got it. <laughs> He's not a cold, but I'm gonna tell you what, he was aggressive. Get in here. It's a nice one. I mean, pound and three quarter. A fun one. Thank you, bud. I saw him pitched up there and he was like, yep, he jumped all over it. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. He pulled the bottom of my feet off. Let's get, uh, oh, I gotta get another pack out. Then went through one pack of mock crawls in that mud candy color. That's a nice fish. Finally got this fish to bite. Now, if I can get that big one over there to bite, that'll be real good. Get in here. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Took a while to get this fish to bite. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that thing. It's pretty. Look at all the black spots on it. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Nice. All right. Let's, uh, let's weigh this one. I think it's bigger than 2.13 i'm pretty sure such a pretty fish day yep 2.73 that's going to go in the 2.13 spot nice pretty fish we're going to put her there she is right there i'm going to put her right back where she come from right back on the bed we worked on that fish for a while. Now, if we can get this giant right here to bite, whew, our day will be complete, because I'm gonna tell you, she's a giant and she is sitting on the bed right now, just sitting right in the middle of it. Let's get everything right. When he decided he wanted it, he freaking ate it. That was cool. I was sitting here looking at this fish, messing with it, messing with it, messing with it. Get up in here. Uh, that's a chunk too. These fish fool me a lot of times. They're, they're actually bigger than what I think they are. But I mean, that's like a, probably a two and a half, probably. Nice fish. I don't think he's bigger than that, than that last one I caught, but nice <laughs> oh, man. that is so fun i had a big fish it blew up behind me right before right before i caught that one i don't know what what it was doing probably chasing up oh it took a took a claw off probably chasing something sun's getting a lot lower now making it a lot more difficult to to see all right y'all well i think that is going to be it for us had a good day missed an absolute giant just could never get that fish to bite again 
I came back to it right then. It wasn't there. The male was up on the bed. He's acting super, super funny as well. But I mean, it's a really nice male. I mean, he's like a three and a half pounder probably, but just could not get that big female to bite again. So we're gonna, we're gonna call it quits. It has gotten really, really cloudy. I don't know if it's supposed to rain. I don't know, but like it's getting chilly. I gotta put my darn hoodie back on because it's getting pretty cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the old Merc and we're gonna head back to the ramp. I really appreciate y'all watching. Caught some nice bed fish. As a matter of fact, before we go, Let's see what our total was for the for the day because I didn't look. So we had a total of 14 pounds and 15 ounces. 14 pounds, 15 ounces. So not terrible. Not as much as I was really, really hoping. I was thinking we could really, really crank out a big bag as what I was hoping. But hey, it's fishing. That's how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead pull up this trolling motor we're gonna head back to the ramp so i appreciate y'all watching be sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time on gunfish tv